What is up guys, Cruise Designs here, and I've got Cinema 4D tutorial with you today. Uh, I'm going to be going over materials. And materials are a really important part of everything you do in Cinema 4D. You can model something amazing, with some really cool text, but if the material is rubbish, it's not going to look very good. So, uh, this will probably be in two parts, and in this part I'm going to be going over kind of grunge textures. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go over grunge materials and maybe get into something else. I'm not sure what yet, but I'm just gonna start with grunge. So let's grab a sphere so I can show you what they're gonna look like. Segments up a bit. Okay. So we're gonna come down here, double click, and we get our new material. Double click on that, and then in the color you wanna uh, come to here and click load image. So now you want to find a grunge material. And I'm going to use one from uh, Robots 8K pack. Go textures. And then this one. Uh, I used this in my intro tutorial series. I'm going to use it again now and double click that. Uh, actually, I didn't use it. Uh, yeah, I put it behind. Uh, I use that for the background, but now we're going to be applying it to the actual 3D stuff. So we get this texture, and I'm just going to apply that like that. Show you, it doesn't really look that good. So we're going to come in here, and I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you uh, how to edit it. So we're going to come click back here and come to filter, and this is kind of like the uh, hub of communications, kind of like the, the hub of editing the material if you click filter now you get all these different options and this is one of the uh, most important bits for making these grunge materials so uh, hue let's start with hue if you want to change the color of it as you can see you can drag this up and change the color I'm gonna go with red let's go or maybe more like that orangey and then saturation, pull the saturation down a bit. This is all all of this you just need to play around with. I'm just showing you what I'm going to do for this material. But if you want a different type of material, obviously you can do different settings. And uh, one important thing that I do do a lot is bring the contrast down. It does make it look better. Darken it. Contrast down. You see, as I as I bring the darkness down, the contrast gets more. So you need to bring the contrast down. Bring lightness up a bit, or the brightness. You can also change the lightness. That's another important bit. And I'm going to leave it like that. Just bring that down a bit more. Okay, I'm going to see what that looks like. And also, you see these. We've got this kind of white patch here, and that can sometimes make your material look a bit weird. That's the specular. Uh, you can either play around with it, make it bigger, make it smaller, or you can just disable it altogether. I prefer to disable it. So uh, now we've got the material on, and another key, uh, another key bit is the projection, and this will make sure that it looks realistic. It kind of wraps around everything. So we've got a sphere. So I'm going to go to shrink wrapping, render this, <coughs> and we've got this kind of grungy command here. It's almost like the moon, and it looks pretty cool. I'm gonna grab uh, grab some lights. Turn global illumination on. Drag that under. That there. That there. Render this out. Uh, that didn't really do much, but you get the picture. We've got this nice grunge material, and obviously you can just come back in here, come to color, click filter, and we could put the contrast up a bit more. Drag the lightness down. Let's 
turn global illumination off and that creates a slightly different it's got more contrast now it looks better in my opinion oh, I don't want to render it that looks cooler and then obviously if you want to change the color you can just click here and say we want a green move the hue along to green and we've got a green material and you can change the projection it's spherical that looks cool as well the different projections you have gives you a different look so uh, you can do this with any texture and that's just a nice way of doing it and I'm now going to put reflection on a lot of people do for now and I'm going to I think I'll drag a sky in make some text ah. make some text cruise uh, grab this font illegal curves Align it middle, and for text, you want the projection on cubic, and you want to tick seamless down here. Then I'm going to add a fillet cap and drag the depth out. And then we'll render this. And that looks pretty cool. I don't like the sky in there. Let's render it out like this. And as you can see, we've got this nice grunge texture on the text. And then you might want a different color for the text. So we're going to come in here, go to filter again. And if you wanted, you could have a black and white uh, texture so we can bring the saturation all the way down. And then drag that onto the text. Make sure the projection is on cubic and tick seamless. Render that, and then we've got a black and white one. Then it's going to look pretty cool. We drag this into there, and there you have it. We've got these really nice grunge textures, and that's pretty much it. So I hope this tutorial was helpful. Uh, I know a lot of you want to know how to get these really cool textures, how to make them look better, and you can make your own material packs, um, grunge material packs. And in part two, I think I'll go a lot more in depth into all the different settings that you can get in the material editor, and also uh, some built-in materials. So, uh, as I said, hope this was helpful. Uh, it's Cruise Designs, and please comment, rate, and subscribe to keep up to date with this material editing series. Uh, Cruise Designs, see you in the next video. Thanks.